I dedicate this video to every single person that has cried and whined and spent days and weeks and months just complaining about Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers and the grifters and the people that are pushing hate and negativity. I dedicate this to all of you because you're all losers. You are not Cobra Kai material. You're not Geeks and Gamers material. Um, you are NPCs. You are controlled by the mainstream media and big tech and the Hollywood overlords. You don't think for yourself. You don't have a working brain because anyone that has been paying attention to what's going on has seen that this is what the plan was all along to destroy everything, to destroy everything. You see little elements here and there, but finally, when you get red pilled, you really wake up. And I got red pilled after The Last Jedi. I didn't see a lot of this. Now, again, I noticed little elements here and there. I noticed the identity politics. I noticed the decisions, the questionable things, but I wasn't ready to just fully call it out until The Last Jedi happened. And then Disney blamed the fans for calling out their bullshit. And that was my moment. That's where I finally realized what was going on. Now, here we are today. Here we are today, ladies and gentlemen. And just when you think things can't get crazier, here we are. Mr. Potato Head is no longer a Mr. Hasbro, the company that makes the potato-shaped plastic toy, is giving the Spud a gender-neutral name, Potato Head. The change will appear on boxes this year. This really happened. This really happened. This decision, this announcement really happened. This is not the Onion. This is not the Babylon Bee. This was a real announcement. This has always been the plan by them. They will never stop. If you don't call them out, if you don't get angry, if you don't continue to stay the course, then this is what's going to happen if you don't fight against it. So for all the people going, you make too many hate videos, Jeremy. You make too many mean videos, Jeremy. No, you're just a fucking pussy. And you can't think for yourself. If you have ever said, I make too many hate videos, you're a pussy and you can't think for yourself. Because I have been calling out the bullshit that needs to be called out. And I will continue to do that. And I'm not going to stop. Because I see what they're doing. Now, after this announcement, after a massive tidal wave of backlash, they are now, they are now doing damage control. Uh, your main spud, Mr. Potato Head, isn't going anywhere. Well, it was announced today that the Potato Head brand name and logo are dropping the Mr. I am proud to confirm that Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head aren't going anywhere and will remain Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Fuck you, Hasbro. Fuck you and fuck your entire executive board and every single person involved with this decision. Fuck you. You are pieces of garbage, and not one single person with a working brain believes you. This is damage control. And they will continue. They will continue to try to push this nonsense. They basically overstepped today. The public reaction was too much. The public response was too much, and they have dialed it back. But trust me, they plan to continue to do this, to destroy everything. Like, think about it. Think about watching Toy Story. By 2021 standards in the social justice world, Toy Story is problematic. Toy Story is problematic to these people. These people are insane. They are truly demented and twisted. They have a mental condition. They have problems. And a lot of these people that are controlling everything from the corporate level are just looking to push agendas. And they're looking to take advantage of weak-minded people. And that's how we have ended up in this position right now. Um, these people are insane. And they will not stop. They will not stop at anything. The insanity is off the charts. The insanity is off the charts. I just saw a tweet and I've I've kind of been you know responding a little bit like that that's that's what I responded for, with uh, with Hasbro because they are they're clowns. We got this person here. Stop calling your female colleagues smart or clever or brilliant. It's sexist. Uh, so I responded. Uh, we really appreciate all of the smart, clever, and brilliant ladies at Geeks and Gamers because you're never ever 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 going to win with social justice. It is an endless rabbit hole of victimization. 
The moment that you bend the knee, even the slightest, it's over. You're done. You've already lost. You will never win at that point. You never bend the knee at all. You never apologize. You never compromise with this group of people because they have proven over and over again that if their sole focus is identity politics, then there is nothing you can do that will ever please them. Most relationships, most situations with normal thinking people allows compromise. It allows conversations. It allows back and forth, give and take. That's normal thinking standards. With social justice weirdos, there is no normal thinking standard. There is no compromise. There is no give and take. There is nothing like that. You can never bend the knee in the slightest. Any weakness you show means you have lost. Do not ever, ever give them anything because you will continue to spin and twist and squirm and they will continue to demand and move the goalpost over and over again. That is where we are. But Hasbro can go straight to hell. Hasbro can go straight to hell. They can try. They can try to sit here and pretend that uh, this announcement, uh, th basically with this damage control, they can pretend like they had a plan. They didn't have a plan. They basically, uh, their plan backfired them, on them. The social uh, reaction was too much, too much negativity. So they have dialed it back. Uh, they can all kiss my ass. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. But that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to call it out. We're going to continue to hold these people accountable. I'm not going to respond to your tears. I'm not going to respond to your cries. I'm not going to respond to your angry tweets. If I make too many hate videos, that's a you problem, not a me problem. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you're continuing to complain that I make too many videos, too many negative videos, then... Uh, that means I'm doing something right because I love offending the easily offended. That is the best thing I can do. The more I can offend the easily offended, the better job I'm doing because social justice weirdos are professional victims. They are always looking for something to be victimized by, and they're always looking for someone to claim uh, hurt their that claim that they hurt their feelings and we're going to cancel them or we're going to whine about them on Twitter. And I'm here to tell you that I don't care. I will continue to call the bullshit out because I see what is happening across the board and uh, plenty of others around uh, the internet and YouTube are seeing it as well. And uh, shout out to all of them. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Check out geeksandgamers.com, our website, where you can sign up for free. You can sign up for free. You can jump in the forums and have a discussion. Uh, you can also support us with uh, premium membership for $10 a month, the minimum. And that helps us continue to grow the brand. It will get you exclusive access to some of our content. And it will get you in line to be part of the alpha and the beta testing phase of our app, which is currently in the works. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And we will talk to you later.